So in the last video, we talked about how if we have a sinusoidal voltage signal, that can be written as um, V of t is the Vmax times the sine of omega t. Okay, so um, if this is our maximum, and this is the argument to the sine, this might look familiar to you um, when you study trigonometry. Um, and that is, this is a function notation, so v in terms of t is basically a y value. And this is the um, some maximum, right? So we'll call it h times the sine of some argument. Okay, so um, if this is our y value, then the corresponding x value was h is the cosine of theta. And the reason why this works is from these trig definitions. So if you recall, um, the sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse of a triangle. Cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. And then the tan theta is opposite over adjacent. All right, so if we have this triangle, this is our theta, and this is our hypotenuse of the triangle. Relative to theta, the opposite side is this one, and relative to theta, the adjacent side is this one. So um, that means that if sine of theta is defined as opposite over hypotenuse, then that means that um, this, the opposite side, is the y part of this coordinate right here, and this is over h. Therefore, y is equal to h sine theta. Okay, so if we imagine that this point right here has an x coordinate and a y coordinate, the way we get that y coordinate is by multiplying the hypotenuse times the sine of this angle. Okay, so then um, from there, if you recall the Pythagorean theorem that says that x squared plus y squared is equal to h squared, then if we put in these values for x and y, where x is h times the cosine of theta, then we would get h cosine theta squared plus h sine theta squared is equal to h squared. So then um, this gives us h squared cosine squared theta squared. Um, that's not squared. Plus h squared sine squared theta is equal to h squared. If you divide out all the h squared, those are constants. This just gives us cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. Okay, so this is, uh, graphically, this means that on the unit circle, if we had this point right here, this point right here, um, this is going to be our cosine theta, and this is going to be our sine theta, where if we sweep out the hypotenuse of this triangle, this is r is equal to the hypotenuse of the triangle. Okay, um, so you've seen this trig identity before, and we're going to kind of take this idea and um, we're going to apply this in the complex plane so that we can start to represent nonlinear um, circuit elements. So let me know if you have any questions about this a little quick trig review. In the next video, I'll show you um, a complex numbers review.